only from you. What'd you do to get it? I can't tell you how it happened. All I know is as soon as I stepped in the room, everybody started gravitating to me. Tell somebody favors about to explode over your life. And God's about to do something for you. I'm closing. God's about to do something for you. He said, tell you, it ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be hard. Watch this. And it ain't gonna take long. Okay, my second point is for the people who can't really say it in church, but you really tired of waiting on God. You can't really say it in church because it's not politically correct, but in the back of your mind, you're saying, God, how long is it going to take you? I came to preach to people. God is about to bring your season of waiting to a close, y'all. Your neighbor trying to ignore me, they sleepy. Tell them, God's about to bring your season of waiting to a close. Tell them, God's about to do something and it ain't gonna take long. I'm still in the text, he says, for the time to favor her, the set time has come. I, listen, I, th this ain't deep, it's just true. It wasn't time. Because the truth is, had God given it to you in January, you would have messed it up by Easter. God had to process you to make sure that when you finally stepped in the favor, you didn't still have them in your spirit. Do me a favor, your neighbor got an attitude. Look at him and tell him it just wasn't time. It just wasn't time. It just wasn't time. It just wasn't, just wasn't time. Just wasn't time. That's why I couldn't come preach here in August. That's why I couldn't come preach in July. That's why I couldn't come before now. Because it wasn't time. God knew the word that was in my mouth. Somebody hollered, the set time has come. Put your hand on somebody. Tell them the set time has come. The set time. The set time. The set time. The set time. How many of y'all in here still trust God? He, he, he knows what he's doing. And God said to tell you, you didn't just step into a 25th anniversary, you stepped into a set time. I wish I could get somebody to prophesy and just slide to the right real quick. Just slide to the right. Just, just, I'm, tr I'm trying to get you to prophesy. I know y'all, I'm a little churchy, don't judge me. Just somebody one more time, slide to the right. That's what, what, what I'm trying to get you to prophesy is your next move is going to be easy. You just going to slide, y'all, y'all not feeling me. Look, your, your, not only is your next move going to be easy, your next move going to be the right move. <laughs> tell somebody the set time has come. Look at your neighbor, tell them the set time has come. I don't even have no voice to be playing with y'all like that. Tell somebody the set time has come. What you don't understand is all this time you've been carrying a mantle of favor. I said all this time you've been carrying a mantle of favor. That's why people who don't even know you don't like you. Because you didn't realize that you were walking around with favor. <laughs> said to tell you when you got out your car today, when you stepped in this building, you didn't just step into a room, but you stepped into a season. Do me a favor, lean on your neighbor real quick. I said lean on them real quick. No, for real, lean on your neighbor and tell them this is my season for grace and for favor. Tell them this is is my season to reap what I sowed. Can I preach to somebody who say I haven't been perfect, but I have been faithful. Look over and tell your neighbor I haven't been perfect, but I sure been faithful. And God said to tell you what you did. It meant something. What you've done these last 25 
years. God said to tell you, I've been adding it up, and it all adds up to your set time for favor. Somebody holler, yes, Lord. Shout favor. It's about to explode. I need you to prophesy. Favor is about to explode over my life. And when favor explodes over your life, it starts pushing you in the places you never would have been. Had favor not hit your life, can I get somebody to prophesy? Get up again and just say, favor is pushing me into my best season. Is pushing me into to the best place I ever been. Can I prophesy one more time? Favor is exploding over your life because your praise has crossed you over yet into another season. When you got here, favor was about to, but because you gave God your praise. Is y'all miss what I just said while we were in here worshiping? Your season transitioned again while we were in here praising God. Your season shifted again, and you came out of what was about to into what is. Somebody holler, fever is exploding over my life. Yes. Somebody clap your hands and give God the glory. If you believe favor is about to explode over your life, clap your hands and open your mouth and shout. If you believe God's about to do it and it ain't going to take long, tell your neighbor God's about to do something. you to take 12 seconds and give God the glory that by the time you get to December, you're going to be in the best place you ever been. Somebody take 12 seconds and praise God for the next three months. Wait a minute, take nine. 